In this video we're going to look at how to change the presets on a Hammond organ. Uh, these, this organ we're going to work on is an A105 but as we've said in other videos and you probably are aware the inner workings, the mechanics, the keyboards, the presets, the tone wheel generator, the amplifiers, drawbars, everything um, is exactly the same equipment that was used on the B3s and the C3s and all the okay. A100s. This is the Hammond owner's playing guide that came with this particular what I'm organ. What looking for is the preset chart. Hammond provided in this owner's manual, here it is, provided a preset chart. And what this shows is this is showing you what the standard settings are for the organ coming from the factory. So here's the upper manual. Here's the preset keys, the black keys that we looked at. What the drawbar setting is for those keys. Now again, this is preset at the factory. What the tone quality is, you know, stop flute, French horn, whatever it may be. So we get in here a little closer. And then it gives you a dynamic value. So this is the setting of how the presets were set when the organ came from the factory. Now that's all that's in the older books. Now if you have a newer model, Hammond started to learn over time that people wanted uh, more of a theater based sound and so what they did was they started publishing in the book the theater settings. Okay, So this particular book has the theater voice settings I'll get in close here so you can pause this if you want and capture these settings for yourself. Here's a lower manual for theater settings. Okay, this is in the back of the organ. We are, have taken the back off and we're looking at the preset panel. And we're going to look at this unit, this bank here. And if I can get in here and show you, up on the top here, it would be difficult to see, but it actually says upper manual, and this one over here says lower manual. And then right below that, it gives you the listings A, G sharp, G, F sharp, F. So going across, it parallels or matches the actual black and white preset keys that are on the keyboard. Okay, so across the top is each of those presets and they're in the same position as they are um, on the organ. And each of these runs vertically. So let's take, we'll look at the the D sharp as an example, which would, uh, actually let's use the E, which would be a black preset key up on the front of the organ. And running vertically down this panel, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine positions. So there's nine bars running across. Those represent the nine positions of the draw bar. And now I'll go back and we'll take a look at the draw bar and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so here we are on the keyboard itself and here are the presets and as you see they match the switch bank that's back there. C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. Okay, Those are the ones that we can preset on the back panel. These last two, the A sharp or B flat and the B parallel and, and we can't set them on the back panel because they work with the drawbar settings up here on the organ. So if we push down the B flat or the A sharp, it operates with this set of drawbars. If we push down the B, it operates with this set. So those aren't programmed in the back. Now in the back I was talking and I said there are nine positions, nine vertical rows for each one of these preset buttons. Okay, so if we push down preset button F, there's nine positions in the back. Well, those nine positions represent the nine positions 
that are on the, you got it that are on the drawbar tab. Now the drawbar comes out only to eight. I don't know if you can see that or not, but the ninth position is actually a zero where the drawbar itself is pushed in. So now we'll go around back and translate how that translates into the wiring configuration. Okay, so now if you look down in here, you'll see that there's a group of wires. This group of wires right here, see it? It's, it's a group by itself. Well there's nine, or there's a group of wires coming out for each preset. And there's a group that comes out right here, and this is for the E preset. We can take that group and isolate it like this. Okay, actually we'll go back one. Here it is, like that. And that's all the wires that are associated, see it there? Associated with that preset, black preset button up at the front keyboard. And each of the same nine wires comes out for each of those nine presets. And all we're going to do is each one of those wires represents one of the drawbars. Okay? There's nine drawbars, so there's nine colored wires coming out. So we've got the preset D, we're going to push that down. We've got nine wires coming out, one for each drawbar. And then it's just a matter of taking those wires and attaching them to the position that we want them on for whatever sound we want at that time, whatever drawbar setting. So for example, if we want um, all the drawbars pulled out full to position 8 for the D pre or the, the E pre preset button on the keyboard we would take all nine wires for E and we would bring them all up and we would attach all of them to this top screw because this top screw is position 8 on the drawbars. So what we're doing is we're telling the organ that when I push down the preset button E the sound I want is all eight draw all nine draw bars pulled out full to eight. Okay, so what I did to help me figure out and get this straight was I made my own little sheet here that gives me the color code explanation. So this is this describes the nine wires that come out of the back for each of the preset buttons or keys or switches on the keyboard. And most importantly tells us what the wire color is. So the brown wire coming out of each one of those is the sub-fundamental. The red wire is the subharmonic. The orange wire is the fundamental. Yellow wire, green wire, blue wire, violet wire, gray wire, and white wire. Every one of these preset positions, let me get back in here, okay, every one of these presets going down vertically has nine positions and it has nine wires coming out matching those colors. So if you look at the sheet, okay, and the theater setting for the C sharp preset according to the Hammond book is 00 8740 and all I did was transfer that so I know which wires which color wires goes with those the first brown drawbar is at 0 the second drawbar is at 0 the third drawbar is at 7 the fourth draw or 8 the fourth drawbar is at 7 the fifth drawbar is at four, and the rest of the drawbars are at zero. That's the configuration that I want for the C sharp preset key. This is just a spare bag of screws because you'll see some of these holes don't have screws in them. Some have screws with no wires attached. That's fine. That doesn't hurt anything. Okay, so we'll get this bag out of the way. 
Okay, so working on the C sharp, we're looking at this vertical row, it's the nine positions. And according to the chart that we made, the first two draw bars are at zero, and the last four draw bars are at zero. So we should have six wires attached to this zero terminal. So if you come down here and you look, here's all the wires right here. Okay, under here there's nine that come out for this particular preset, and we should have six attached to this zero. And if I count these, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, and they should be brown, red. Okay, there's the brown, there's the red and then we've got white, purple, blue, and gray. That's correct. So the one, two, third draw bar for this particular sound is set at position eight, which is the orange wire. So we come back here, and for this, again, we're working in the C-sharp bank. For this set of wires that comes out of the bottom here, we want to take the orange wire, which we have right here, and attach it to position eight. Okay? Come back and look at the sheet, and we see that we want the, th the fourth draw bar, which is the yellow wire, to be at position 7. So we take this same group of wires, we take the yellow wire, and we attach it to position 7. Okay? Pretty simple. And then the only other connection for this particular setting is the fifth draw bar, we want set at position 4, and that's the green wire. So we take the green wire off of this group coming out of the bottom, bring it up, and attach it to position 4. As you see here, green wire position 4. Now that gives us our draw bar setting. If, and if you look close at what I did, it's a pretty simple setup. All, I've, all you've got to do is twist all those wires together and put them under that screw right there. Okay. Oh, we get this bag out of the way. And there's plenty of space to get in there and work. I mean, you can see how I'm pushing these wires out of the way. You don't have to worry too much about it. Um, and that's how you set it up. And you go about and do that for every vertical row uh, representing each one of those preset bars. Okay.